What's going on guys, Hypocrite Hunter 666 here. Not gonna be a long intro, as the title says pretty much everything we need to know. We're gonna be laughing at the biggest gaming critic on YouTube, cope and seethe over the fact that his favorite game Call of Duty Vanguard isn't as near as perfect as he wants it to be. This video however will be split up into two parts as uh, you know it's a near two hour long video so it's gonna be pretty fucking long. I will be getting to work on part two now that I'm done with part one. And with all that out of the way, let's go laugh at some locale content. So I think I have the link copy. Right. Bro lost all respect. All right, here we go. Back for you. That's okay, man. Talking about. See, this is the thing, and this is why I don't like responding to videos about fucking live stream clips. What was the context of this response? What was the actual argument that I needed to present? Like, what were we actually even talking about at the time? Hold it! You gotta love that random jump cut right there in the middle. Like, how the fuck do we know what the context is if you're gonna cut the clip in half? But then again, how can I forget that another YouTuber by the name of A British Potato is the one uploading your live stream clips? So either he deliberately cut that part out to make you look good, or it's an editing error that made him do that. In which I hope for your case, it's the latter. But yeah, let's play the full clip of that section just to show what Sean the Legend was really on about. Bro, lost all respect for you. That's okay, man. I don't really care. If you lose respect for me over Call of Duty, then yeah, I don't need your respect. In fact, I think I'm better off without it. Griffin, present an actual argument. Okay, here's my actual argument. You're a fucking mouth-breathing retard if you're looking to a Call of Duty game to be an accurate representation of World War II. Or any video game for that matter. There you go. See? It's easy to make it look bad when you leave out the context. Like, if I remember correctly, it was something fucking absolutely retarded. Fucking absolutely retarded. Well, would you look at that? Something we can agree on. So, yeah. If somebody wants me to defend a retarded-ass fucking thing with a fact or whatever, sorry, I'm not going to justify that with the dignity of a real response. Spoiler alert, that's because you don't have one. See, this is what I mean. It's like motherfuckers will take clips out of context with streams. This is why I don't like responding to people who respond to streams. Because it's like, you know, you can make anything look like whatever you want. Actual argument. You're a fucking mouth-breathing retard if you're looking to a Call of Duty game to be an accurate representation of World War II. Um, is that not a pretty understandable take? Call of Duty being an accurate representation of anything? Like, when the fuck has Call of Duty been a realistic war simulator? I'd say that's a pretty... Pretty fair statement, but okay. OBJECTION! This next part coming up, though, is very cancerous, so I'm gonna go ahead and speed it up to spare you the brain cells. And if you're going to say, but we need it for historical reasons, then your game better actually be historical. You can't really just hide behind the fact you called your desert map El Alamein and say, but it's historical. If that were the case, you need your PvP to at least represent real historical events and be a realistic take on those battles. Once you make both sides balanced, it's also no longer historical. And you can't really say that you need Nazis anymore for historical accuracy. Oh, and once you let players get cool weapons that weren't actually at that particular battleground, it's also no longer historically accurate. And you can't declare that your game will suffer if you don't put players in the jackboots of the Third Reich. And once your map is something carefully designed to have good gameplay by a team in a room in San Francisco or LA, and it's not a faithful reconstruction of the actual places the historical events occurred in, you can no longer say we need to have players take up arms in service of terror or hate. Oh my god, here we go. It's the same retarded-ass argument that all the EA shills used for Battlefield 5, and honestly, it's just as retarded now. No one wants a one-to-one -one historically accurate portrayal in a historic shooter. We just want the experience to be believable enough to be fun and immersive. I mean, that's it, dude. I mean, if you're so uncomfortable with the possibility of playing as a certain side in a multiplayer shooter, just don't buy the fucking game, dude. Like, it's really not that hard. Dude, I just really can't understand how you cannot grasp the idea that there is a distinguishable difference between a fucking video game and real life. I mean, to use your own words, dude, where's that same energy for Call of Duty that you have for Battlefield? But nah, we can have that, am I right? Because you gotta get that retorted ass selective outrage out there. Take that! Or any video game for that matter. There you go. I think you said Vanguard had more content at launch? It had more launch maps, yeah. That's an objective fact. No. I mean, it must be completely unheard of that people want. See, now this is going to be funny because this is a Battlefield video, okay? So Battlefield 5, remember the game they claimed was the most accurate depiction of ba or World War II in any Battlefield game to date? 
Yeah, there's a little bit of a difference when a video game comes out claiming to be a historically accurate portrayal of history and represents history versus Call of Duty that takes place in a fictional post-World War II timeline that never fucking occurred. But, you know, a little bit of a difference there. The angry Twitter man Chow again forgets to do his research. Love to fucking see it. Want a World War II experience in a World War II game? If not, why call it a World War II game whatsoever? Dude, you can tell that this... So you guys hear how, like, retarded I sound when I talk, right? That's what it sounds like when I script the videos. Those old Battlefield... Like, if you ever want to cringe, go back and watch, like, my old Battlefield 5 videos. They are terrible, bro. Like, I, I just leave them up as a reminder of how far I've come. Because that literally... <laughs> I'll say this, the Battlefield 5 videos did very well, and they kind of projected my channel into being, I guess, successful because they were really well um, received at the time, but looking back on them even six months after the fact, that shit was so fucking cringe, but I left them up just as a reminder, you know, this is where you started, and this is where you are now. And what the fuck does any of this have to do with the topic at hand? Dude, just admit that you had a shitty take, just like all the other people you ever criticized on YouTube in the past. Instead of taking pages out of their playbook in a desperate attempt to deflect criticism. Cause not only that is cringy as fuck, but it's fucking hypocritical as hell. Ever. If not, why call it a World War II game whatsoever? Well, yeah, Call of Duty Vanguard's not a World War II game, it's a fictional after world war ii timeline and plus battlefield was literally like trying to represent it as an accurate fucking depiction so a little different but whatever you just gotta love it when the biggest critic on youtube is guilty of the same shit that he accuses other people of doing but what can you do about that one man selective outrage at his finest it's four fucking years old they got your ass on camera Niggas ain't got me in no fucking camera. This is the clearest video I've ever seen. This is the most HD shit ever. This is? This looks like 720p, if even that. This is 4K! How did they get you at 4K? That ain't me. What's going on, everybody? It's Mitsuni Nikki here once again, back bringing you guys another video. And today, we're going to be taking a look once again at a few more you know of the footage from griffin's you know cod vanguard simpin disaster stream the one that i covered the video on just two days ago people so we're going to be taking a look at a few more of the clips from the video of him breaking down and simping and getting triggered over you know act man calling out a uh, call cod van was i triggered at act man yeah i don't think so was i triggered at act man yeah i don't think so objection this is not what my grandpa told me about world war ii like have wow dude your grandpa didn't tell you about call the fucking duty and the con Grandpa, I think you're full of shit, dude. Why the fuck didn't you mention Victor Reznov planting the Soviet flag on top of the Nazi Capitol building, you fucking lying piece of shit? For someone who calls out others for not being able to read sarcasm and irony, you sure have a problem reading it too. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Bro! Oh my god. Oh. Jesus Christ, bro. This is sad. It's fucking COD, dude. It's literally Call of Duty. Having red dot sights. Uh, ex excuse me? And pause again there because we have one of the- Grandpa, what the fuck do you mean that you didn't have 25 magazines of fully loaded ammunition on you? And when you walked over a dead body, 16 more appeared in your fucking backpack. You're full of shit. Shut the fuck up. Oh my god. Dude, it's fucking COD. Take that! Guard, you know, in his darn review. I'm thinking we have a very different definition of triggered. Like, I don't know. And saying that the game is completely unfinished, broken, and is a terrible product of a COD game, you know? And Griffin getting triggered over it. So. 
Um, I don't ever remember Actman saying that it's unfinished, broken, or whatever. If anything, I agree that, yeah, Vanguard has a lot of technical issues, but okay. Bro, did we watch the same video? Because if I remember correctly, your response to the Vanguard zombie section completely contradicts what you just said here. What happened was... Bro, if that was a disaster stream, I think I made like 700 bucks or 600 bucks that night. So, if that's what's considered a disaster stream for me, bring it on. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. I thought it was fun. But I guess not. I don't really care if people... Like, that's the thing. Is like, from the very beginning, I've always said, I have an unpopular take on Vanguard. I know that. But that's what makes it fun to talk about, because we can debate it. But, you know, video games make my feelings upset. Especially when you disagree with the act, man, apparently. Because nobody had an issue with me liking Vanguard until we watched that act, man, video. So, if anybody's simping... It's the motherfuckers simping for the act, man. But, hey, what do I know? In quotes, this kind of shows you that he's a very immature and childish person. The fact that he feels the need to try to belittle and make fun of another person to feel better about himself. I mean, congrats, man. You just managed to use two arguments I can't fucking stand. Did you actually just try to pull the, oh, he's only making fun of me because he's immature line? Come on, man. That's the line straight out of the bitch's handbook for people who can't handle the shit they dish out. Also, subscribers are nothing more than a number. I had 1,600 subs at one point, just like everybody else on this damn website did. A lower sub count is not a shield against criticism. Ironic. Why? Because the Actman is a puny little hippo zone? Is his 1.44 million subscribers too much for you to handle? I'm sorry, man. You know, that Griffin, if you don't know who's a commentary channel similar to Leafy is here, had recently had a stream where he was freaking getting triggered over Actman's review video of COD Vanguard, you know. And I made a video criticizing Griffin, you know, for coming up with some really dumb points of him trying to defend uh, COD Vanguard being a terrible product of a Call of Duty game. And what we're going to be doing is, like I said, you know, is taking a few more of the clips from the live stream and reacting to some of it, you know, because I got some very good ones. It's a different live stream, too. You got that one wrong. This is the part where here where his chat was even roasting him for his terrible takes that he was dude my chat roasts me every single fucking night if i really cared everybody would be banned how many people have been banned from my chat for disagreeing with me or even roasting me or whatever like i, I can count it on one fucking hand it's zero because i don't give a shit like at the end of the day this is video games bro people roast me all the fucking time for my takes i don't care that's why i think people come to my streams because i have hot takes i don't really give a fuck coming up with over here trying to refute act man points and wasn't even coming up with anything good to say so if you guys are down for that you ready for that uh, let's get into this one. This video will not be as long as the one before that I did on Griffin. That was nearly an hour long video. This one will not be that long. So, you know, without, with that being said, you know, me digressing and everything, let's get into this. Vanguard's base weapon models look amazing. So sleek, shiny, highly detailed. Might be the best looking World War II guns I've ever seen. Until you start putting stuff on them. Who can care oh my god oh my god guys <laughs> in real life you wouldn't be able to put um that level of zoom scope on a tommy machine gun it would i mean that is the same energy that we're witnessing here the dude's literally saying oh yeah the gun models look cool but oh my god in this call of duty game you can't put you can't put um just realistically attachable attachments to it like yeah it's cod bro I don't really think they care if the fucking variants of every single grip for the MP40 were actually available in Nazi Germany in 1942. It's a video game. It's meant to be fun. That's it. It's not historically accurate. Nobody fucking cares. I'd rather have an extended mag than have it look real. Sorry. That's just me. <laughs> Another dodge from Mr. Griffin Gaming. Yeah, guys, let's just move on to the next topic, because the next thing he says makes a little too much sense, and I don't know if I can counter it. Like, how pathetic, man. If you're gonna respond to the video, respond to the video. It would affect the accuracy so badly that you wouldn't really be able to sh Like, shut the fuck- br Dude, this type of shit is beyond fucking corny. It's- Very true. It's a video game. Exactly.
No one fucking cares if they didn't have a drum mag in World War II for a fucking pistol. Exactly. Yes. 100%. No one gives a shit. Bro, you really think in Modern Warfare 2 they were running around flip fucking reloading the Model 1887s? Like, is that realistic? No. Did anyone give a shit? No. In fact, it made people like the guns even fucking more. And guess what, Griffin? No one would care if this freaking Call of Duty wasn't advertising itself as being the most realistic and immersive take on a World War II setting ever in COD history, you app. What? I've heard the most immersive, but realistic? Maybe in the campaign, but definitely... Bro, you really think fucking operators and multiplayer is a... No. Come on now. Come on. Maybe they were talking about the campaign. I'll give them maybe that, but they've literally said it's in an alternate timeline after World War II. That then and of itself should tell you it's not a realistic depiction of World War II. Use the brain cells that God gave you. Talk about the pot calling the kettle black. Absolute freaking brain lit. Maybe if the director of Sledgehammer wasn't advertising as that, people wouldn't really care that much about the immersiveness or realism or historical act. Were they talking about the multiplayer? Or the campaign. That's the big distinction here we need to make. Since Sean himself forgot to put up the evidence here, let's rehash it one more time for our good buddy Grifter, dude. You absolute brain dead, brain lit Neanderthal moron. I mean, wasn't he saying that I was getting triggered? Hmm. Bro, shut the fuck up. You were triggered as hell in the last live stream. Don't fucking act like you're not. Jesus Christ, dude. It's like you can't read between the fine lines. Instead, you got on your freaking... Can I actually see the quote so I can read it? Or is that a little bit too much work? Because, I mean, I have the excuse of saying, Hey, you know, I was reacting to this shit live. I didn't have time to go and look all this shit up like I normally would if I'm making a video. Because, as you guys know, I love to present, like, examples of where people are wrong. Like, I'll go and find the article. I'll go and find, like, whatever fucking interview quote. I'll find the clip, and I'll put it in to add context. In a stream, I can't do it. Because I'm not going to sit there for 20 fucking minutes hunting down a missing article that proves my point. Or allows me to, like, verse myself on something before I respond to it. This motherfucker's making a video. Go get the evidence, my dude. Prove me wrong. You know, you're basically accusing me of, like, ignoring this, but it's like, <laughs> I'm just supposed to take your word for it? Isn't it the same fucking kind of energy at that point? I don't know. So, why did you back out when Near Fanboy offered the debate review? Thought you wanted to be proven wrong so badly. Rose-tinted Call of Duty simp glasses that just freaking blind you to all types of actual legitimate criticism and stuff. And you just go, oh my god, dude, you just hate the game or whatever. <laughs> You're just a freaking idiot. Oh. No, I said the video sounds like it was made just because he wanted to get hate views. Imagine being preached to by someone who built off his entire channel getting hate views. You just gotta love the fucking hypocrisy here. Which I agree 100%, because there were factually incorrect statements about the multiplayer. I mean, the dude literally classified Call of Duty, the older games, as being in the same category of something like Rainbow Six. Come on now. And you're telling me that doesn't just scream hate bait to you? Okay. But anyway, DBM Gaming with the three. What's up, bro? How's it going? Gaming. We're watching an exposed video on me. And Rogue with the fuck with the five. I'm getting triggered over how slow, emotionless his voice is. Yeah, I don't know, man. This is a big old beefy boy. And that's the other thing, too. It's like, when I'm streaming, I add, like, emphasis. I try to be entertaining. I try to add a little bit more emotion. Like, my responses are... Like, would you guys not agree that when we're streaming, like, the... I don't even know what the fucking thing... I want to say outburst almost, but I don't know if that's the right word. But you guys know how I responded to video versus how I like respond in the stream. Like, I'd say how I responded streams is much more energetic because I'm trying to keep people like engaged and watching the stream because streams are much longer and drawn out the videos, and I can't like cut the pauses and everything like that. So I do my best to keep people engaged with the stream, add a little bit more energy to the reaction, and. Yeah, sometimes they make him off as me actually seeming like I care about something that I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret. I really fucking don't.
I'm just trying to be entertaining at the end of the day because that's kind of the job of live streaming is to entertain the people watching the stream. Yeah, I think nobody can fucking deny the fact that they were pretty well entertained on that stream of yours. However, they were laughing at you, just not with you. Even your own fanboys did the same. But anyway. Bro, what the fuck with the I'm getting triggered over- Oh wait, no, fuck her though. We're just potato with the two. Gotta admit my interface for your streams looks good. Yeah, no, it does look good, man. You do a good job with that channel, bro. 100%. I'm glad you're making some cash off of that shit. And Oski with the five. Wait, people didn't like your take on Vanguard. That's interesting. In other news, the sky is blue, the grass is green. Um, uh, shit, so... Microsoft. Yeah, I'm a gamer! Groovy! But yeah, that's the thing. It's like, I've been consistent on my enjoyment of Vanguard. I don't really know why the fuck all of a sudden it's a problem. Bundle of six with the five. I feel like people get so obsessed with favorite YouTubers and feel the need to defend them, aka this guy said cracked man. Kind of weird. Yeah, I don't know, bro. Because, like, we've watched so many other, like, Call of Duty Vanguard bad videos. Like, we've watched shit from Plain Truth. We watched Eight Thoughts videos on it, which Eight Thoughts is funny as fuck. You know, that motherfucker's just entertaining. I mean, we've watched other videos calling out Vanguard, and I've been pretty consistent in my, you know, enjoyment and, I guess, approval of the game or whatever the fuck. So, it's just very interesting. All of a sudden, when Actman pops up, it's all of a sudden a big deal. So, Keith with the two, this dude sounds like he never steps outside. I don't know, bro. I don't step outside, so. Maybe I would be the person to say so, but I don't know. He maybe touches grass at least a couple times a week. See so around with the 10. Idea for an April 1st video, you pick any of your videos and do a joke response to it and argue with yourself. For some reason, hearing you in stereo is like, yo, shit, that would. Alright, I actually have a really good idea of which one I would do. Okay, yeah, no, that's a really. Bro, that's a really fucking good idea. I already know what video I would do, too. Oh, shit. John Howard with the two. How are you today? Anyway, DSP Gaming. I'm good today, also, bro. Griffin Gaming. Just did a super chat. Said, gaming. Gaming. Axe Man lives in my head rent free. That's right, bro. I watch him all the time. Oh really? Nobody had a problem with you when you responded to Blaine Truth? Looks like I gotta go check those streams out, because if there anything as bad as this one or the two other videos I made on you regarding Blaine Truth, I'll be milking the shit out of you for views. Oh my god, man. Just shut up. Just, you know, just consume the product and don't ask questions, dude. Like, come on, man. <laughs> Reddit memes. Man, give them your money. If you want realism, go play some fucking war simulator and nerd the fuck out. No one cares about that shit in Call of Duty. Yeah, I I'm pretty sure I'm going to stand by that one. Holy fuck. Where was the outrage when we were calling in, um, like, fucking battalions of dogs in World at War? Or, you know, reloading? You know, that's kind of a kind of an interesting one too. If we want to talk about realism in a Call of Duty game or any World War II shooter, the whole concept of reloading really doesn't make sense. But anyway, yeah, that's beside the point. Fuck. Alright, we'll pause there. There's just gonna be a lot of pained wincing <laughs> going on. Yeah, dude, it's it's gonna f <laughs> like brute. How do you expect me to react to some motherfucker saying, Oh my god, bro, it's gonna be painful for me to look at World War II guns with different attachments on them than what were available during the time they were actually used in co- Like, come on, bro. Really? You actually think I'm gonna be like, Yeah, you know what? He's got a really good point, dude. In this fictional video game, in a fictional timeline after World War II, these guns really wouldn't be able to have a red dot so No. Sorry. I'm not that dumb. No, we don't want you to fucking react to it. We want you to shut up and listen to the dude before going full Reddit there. A physically pain me to see a gun with a scope that didn't exist yet. Like, shut the f- This is the corniest motherfucker on planet Earth, bro. Touch some- <laughs> Some fucking grass, you absolute loser. Please. Agreed, bro. This is an L. Like, this GameSpot video is corny as fuck. Touch some grass. I think in this review, wow, where to start? So this is clearly somewhere in the past. Yeah, somebody told me that he didn't actually, like, make the video out of his own volition. It was GameSpot that hired him. Well, no fucking shit. So, for that, I don't fault him. All right, I'll take the L on that one. Like, he's fine. GameSpot is the motherfuckers that should be called corny for even, like, suggesting this be a video idea. All right? Let's clear that one up. Because somebody mentioned that in another stream, and I, like, corrected myself on that. So let's do it here for everybody watching the replay. That dude is fine, okay? Let's blame the motherfuckers who paid him to do it. GameSpot. They, those motherfuckers are the corniest motherfuckers on planet Earth, okay? Is everybody all right now? Can we all sleep at night? All right, cool. Now, why do I not believe what you just said there? Why am I getting this feeling that you're about to contradict yourself and do a one fucking 80? Last life, a Browning, BAR, M9. Like I said, live reaction. 
don't have time to check in the shit. Oh my god. You can tell what are they going to do with two? Guides, even if all the other features have been altered by some sadistic maniac. The... Okay. All right. Never mind. You know what? We're just going to let it fly. We're going to let it fly. Egyptian slash East German slash Polish-esque AK wire folding mm. buttstock makes me cry a little inside. Dude, I'm trying so hard not to talk shit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's even worse hearing it the second time. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, let's just keep going. So, for that, I don't fault him. Alright, I'll take the L on that one. Like, he's fine. GameSpot is the motherfuckers that should be called corny for even, like, suggesting this be a video idea. Alright? Let's clear that one up. Because somebody mentioned that in another stream, and I, like, correct myself on that. So let's do it here. For everybody watching the replay. That dude is fine, okay? Let's blame the motherfuckers who paid him to do it. GameSpot. They, those motherfuckers are the corniest motherfuckers on planet Earth, okay? Is everybody alright now? Can we all sleep at night? Alright, cool. You just gotta love it when men children on the internet have meltdowns over the dumbest shit imaginable. God, I think this is a Garand. What have they done to you? I can hear- They made it look better? Here, John Cam- Conscious Garand revolving in his grave. <sighs> Dude, please. <laughs> I want to talk shit so fucking bad. <laughs> Reddit chuckles. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself, bro. <laughs> He's rolling over in his grave. R slash weaponry. I love how Griffin sits over here and gets triggered over this guy that he immediately sees <laughs> calling out the weapons attachments and everything. Oh my god. It's COD! 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 Why would you just shut up? No one plays Call of Duty for weapon attachment accuracy. There, I fucking said it, dude. Talking about how ridiculous. I feel much better and stuff that they look and immediately just goes ha 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 redditor moment oh my god this guy's a fucking redditor dude that is a reddit moment that is the definitive definition of a fucking reddit moment that motherfucker would have gotten a shit ton of karma uh oh twitter man chow is big mad again also i thought it was a good thing when you get karma on reddit so what the fuck are you on about without even doing any actual goddamn research you know because griffin doesn't act no shit i'm not gonna do research you dumb fuck I'm in a live stream. You're in a fucking video and you couldn't be bothered to do fucking research. Shut the fuck. Bro, this is what I mean. This is some clown ass shit. Objection! Not so fast. Fellow YouTuber Semtech48 has something to say about this, so why don't we hear him out on this? Take it away, Semtech. Editor moment. The thing is that Griffin acts like gun owners have no right to shit toss on Vanguard guns. I could tell Griffin doesn't do research before reacting to Actiman's video. Even during his live stream, he could have researched on his phone or a second monitor. Yeah, you have done that before, Griffin, on your previous live streams. Why are you acting like, oh, oh, it's time to do a live stream? Like, stop making excuses, you shut up. God damn, bro. And you know that most people do this shit, you moron. On other, even when they're live streaming. God, this guy is so brain dead. Also, the guy reviewed the guns from Vanguard is also a historian uh, and a gun owner in the UK. Just to give you FYI. But goddamn, what the fuck is wrong with this dude? Maybe it's better not to not drink too much or stay up all night when doing a live stream. You could have just done it after you finish your job or just not do it at all. Come on, man. This guy's a fucking man-child. Take that! 
actually really ever do any research when it comes to game development or anything. Yeah, dude, it's a video game. I'm not going to sit there and be like, I wonder what, like, it's a game. I play it. I have fun. It's COD. Bro, I'm not looking into this shit like a fucking research project like that you know or when it comes to anyone of importance all he does is just make stupid jokes you know and then doesn't come up with any actual ways to review a person's argument and stuff because if he did actually do research he'd know that this guy right here on the screen do you want me to pause the fucking stream for 30 minutes while i do a background check on every single person that pops up on screen honest to god question what the fuck are you talking about, bro? It's a live stream. Of course I'm not going to research it because I'm watching it live. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, I don't even know what the fuck. Like, what am I supposed to say to something that idiotic? Once again for the man child in the room right there. Take the L and own it like a man. Come on now. Green is a freaking like, he's like a historian on like weapons and everything. He does research on them and all that. Yeah, which is what somebody pointed out to me in a later live stream, and I corrected myself. Wow! It's almost like I'm actually capable of being able to keep that same energy and admit, okay, maybe I was wrong on that one. And it's GameSpot that I think should deserve the majority of the blame for that. So, yeah. I mean, that's the thing. It's like, I'm not gonna fucking pause the stream and look up somebody's entire fucking background and job info. Sorry. Don't care enough about it that much. Like, Jesus Christ, Griffin, dude, man. Like, no, you're fuck not on stream, but prior. But that's the thing is, I wasn't planning on watching it until the stream started because I asked everybody if they wanted me to watch it because someone brought it up. So that's the thing is, I don't watch the act man, bro. Like, I don't sub to him. I don't regularly consume his content. The only times I really watch him is when people ask me to watch his content on stream, which is what happened that night. Somebody mentioned, oh, act man made a video on Vanguard. You should check it out. I'm like, all right, bet. We will check it out. That is how the night went down. As you guys know, I'm not exactly what you would call it. someone who prepares for streams, right? I don't know. Fucking facts, bro. Dude, sit here and just immediately call someone a Redditor who knows what the hell they're talking about. <laughs> Redditor moment. Like, your joke wasn't even fucking funny, bro. But this is like what Griffin does. This is like Leafy's here type of humor, except 30 times worse. Thank you. Holy fuck, dude. This is such a neckbeard fedora tip moment. Agreed. Like, <laughs> yeah, dude. I bet the guy who made this gun is turning over in his grave. Yeah, and that shit is pretty fucking corny. <laughs> Holy fuck, man. I I just could only imagine being this sad that you look for realism in a fucking COD game. <laughs> I mean, am I wrong? No shit. Who is looking to Call of Duty for realism? Has that ever been a focus of the Call of Duty series? Maybe you could make the case with the original, like, three games. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe? More like, abso fucking lootly. But even that's a massive fucking stretch. Call of Duty has always been an arcade Twitch shooter. That's it. It has never been a literal simulation, realistic depiction of any time period it has ever been set in. I don't know. So let's see. Poo -poo with the two. <laughs> Man, who are we watching? He seems pretty based. Um, some little bitch ass motherfucker named Griffin Gaming. I don't know. And then this guy. I don't actually know his name. <laughs> um, fuck. You generation with the two. Didn't do your research, Griff. Shake my head. L plus ratio. Yeah. I'll hold the L, bro. I'm sorry. I didn't get my FBI contacts to do a fucking extensive background check before I magically knew before the stream started that I was going to watch a video that contained two minutes of some random guy I've never seen before in my entire life. God forgive me. Jet Black Throw with the two. Oh, you like a game I didn't, or I don't like? You're Satan? Yeah, pretty much, man. That's about right. <laughs> Maybe the fucking director of Call of Duty Vanguard shouldn't have advertised this darn game as being, you know, a freaking immersive and realistic experience and take on World War II. You know? Can we see the actual quote for that? Because I would love to actually look at it. You know, where you get to experience the breathtaking. Like, that's the thing. Like, bro, you're accusing me of not doing research in a live environment. Why are you not doing research in a literal controlled environment where you could pull up a quote on screen with literal minimal effort? It would take you three seconds to put it into this video, but it's not here. 
So who's the lazy one who doesn't research at this point? Because basically what you're saying is trust me, bro, which by your own logic is the same shit I'm doing. Again, Grifter, you have no fucking right to be calling out anyone else but yourself in this situation. Rakinzi with the 5 Vanguard can be an easy roast, but everyone keeps on the surface level like bro perks and battle pass, multiplayer operators showing more sides of World War II than story. Yeah, I don't fucking know, man. That's the thing, it's like... And... I don't fucking know. Like, when it comes down to it, and that's why I kind of do get, like, a little um, annoyed sometimes, it's like, people don't really know what they're talking about when it comes to Vanguard. Like, I've noticed, like, some of the people saying, like, oh, there's no content in the game. It's like, well, no, that's, that's not true at all. Like, Vanguard has above the average amount of guns for a Call of Duty game. It has double the amount of launch maps of a normal Call of Duty game. It launches with the same amount of modes that a typical Call of Duty game has. And then on top of that, every single game mode has three different variations that affect the flow and overall pacing of the game. So there's a lot of content in Vanguard. So when people say that, it's like, no, you haven't played the game, obviously, because you would know there's content. I'm not saying it's great content. I'm not saying that Vanguard has the best maps in Call of Duty history. I'm just saying it's an objective fact that you can count the number of maps in a game like Black Ops 2 when that game came out, and you can count the number of maps that came out in Vanguard when that game came out, and Vanguard has more. How, like, I don't understand how that's a debatable point. I don't know. Like, obviously, either I'm getting too fucking old for this shit, or I'm missing something. But, whatever. Moments that define the World War II and its darn history surrounding it, man. Like, come the fuck on, Griffin, bro. Oh my god, dude. You shouldn't be playing COD games. You're looking for realism. No shit, bro. Then... Why are you even bringing up this point? But they still had a sense of realism to this and immersion. I would... <laughs> oh. oh. Dear God. I wouldn't say Call of Duty games have exactly been entirely realistic, or at least not too realistic to a sense, but when it comes to immersion, at least the older fucking titles like Black Ops 2 and below... Define immersion. Immersion to me is getting lost in the game and having fun with it. It's when I'm playing a game and I'm enjoying it so much, time just passes by. I don't really pay attention to like, oh, I've played five matches, I lose count. Like, I'm invested in the game, I'm having fun with it, it's enjoyable... Like, it serves its purpose as a game. Like, what is immersion? I can get immersed in any game, basically, as long as it's fun to me. What does that have to do with real... Like, you're confusing immersion and realism. This right here is the sole reason why I am not going to believe you when you say you played those campaigns. Because if you did, you would have completely understood what Matsuki here is trying to say. They absolutely nailed that shit. Like, come on, man. No COD game recently has really been all that immersive except like COD, Cold War, Modern Warfare 2019, you know, and shit, man. But Vanguard and like Black Ops 3 and stuff like that, hell fucking no, dude. You thought Cold War was immersive? Bruh. Did I hear that right? All that immersive except like COD, Cold War. No COD game recently has really been all that immersive except like COD, Cold War, Modern Warfare 2019. Yeah, dude, nothing screams immersion like fucking anime skins during the Cold War, right? You know, running around with fucking waifus all over your guns. That truly screams immersion. Like, really? Like, by his definition of immersion, it's realism. Like, that's what he's conflating here. He's like saying... Oh, it's immersive because it's true to the time period. Cold War is not fucking true to the time period. At all. At all. Black Ops 1, true to the time period. World at War, true to the time period. But Black Ops Cold War? Fuck no. I mean, Black Ops 2, I guess you could say, but it's like, well, 2025 is coming up, and it's not really looking like it's true to the time period, so... Guess we can't really count that one. But why are you going to say Black Ops 3 isn't, like, immersive? I think most people actually like Black Ops 3. Objection! No player number evidence, your honor. Take that! You know, and shit, man. But Vanguard and, like, Black Ops 3 and stuff like that, hell fucking no, dude. And that's what people are looking for. It's not even really about the realism, in a sense. It's about the... What? The historical accuracy and also the immersion, because that's how they... That is the realism. Historical accuracy is a component of realism. Well, no fucking shit. You do realize that, right? Those are not mutually exclusive things. 
it's part of the same thing. For a game to be a realistic depiction, it has to be historically accurate. Okay, when has he said otherwise? Oh my god, dude, he's really getting the, like, he's intermingling these two things and not understanding the divide between them. Like, he's getting it confused. Advertise the damn game. They advertise it as being immersive, accurate, and a realistic take on the World War II setting. Again, can, can we see this quote? Like, come the fuck on, Griffin. Jesus Christ, dude, the simping is out of control, bro. Just admit that the game is objectively freaking bad and is in a terrible state, man. Like, how is the game objectively bad? Give me an example. How are you going to tell me that I'm objectively wrong for enjoying a video game? How can I be objectively wrong in enjoying a game and thinking it's good? Because defining something as good or bad is a subjective fucking label. Plain and simple. There is no objective definition of good. There's no objective definition of bad. You can't fucking say that my opinion on a game is objectively wrong because I like it and you don't. That's some Dreamcast guy type shit. OBJECTION! Fucking matter. Embarrassing. Have we learned nothing? I'm just kidding with you. Don't take me seriously. I pre-ordered two different copies of Kingdom Hearts 3. The Yuck. Ooh. Bruh. Kingdom Hearts. Yuck. The first day that I was able to. That's an L. Goodbye. I hope I didn't break something. Bro, Kingdom Hearts is fucking dog shit. I could never take that game seriously at all. <laughs> that shit was so fucking bad. Come on, Mickey Mouse. We gotta save the world. <laughs> Come on, Goofy and fucking Donald Duck. I'm supposed to take this shit seriously, even though there's fucking cartoons next to me. And not to mention the convoluted, just absolute abortion of a plot that game has. Like, bro, take away the Disney characters and it might be decent. But otherwise, nah. Or the dumbass fucking naming scheme. Like, what? Kingdom Hearts 1.5... 2% or whatever the fuck it's called. <laughs> Bruh. Samuel Scott with the 2, can't wait. Take that! Hey, come on. Probably more efficiently than this drum mag revolves. <laughs> this is why oh I think God. Vanguard should have gone for an alternate reality World War II setting. Because then they could do all of this and it they did. would make sense. It wouldn't feel out of place. Yeah, what is with these sites, dude? What? It, tell me. Someone tell me what these sites are all about. I need answers. It's a red dot site, so you don't have to look through a fucking sniper scope or red... Uh, remember the fuck. Um, iron sights the whole time. It's a pretty standard thing in a, you know, shooter. Having multiple types of sights. What are they about? They're red dot sites, bro. They've been in almost every single Call of Duty game to ever exist. This is not what my grandpa told me about World War II. Like... <laughs> That was another one, bro. I don't think Grandpa would describe World at War either. You know, when Grandpa um, retells his stories of the Great War, or not the Great War, that's World War One of World War II, I don't think he's going to be, well, Sonny, we were in the midst of battle, and Sergeant Anderson next to me just got his seven kill streak. He called in his attack dog squad, and they were mauling the throats out of the Nazi combatants we were up against. The score was 55 to 42. We were pulling ahead. Victory was in grasp, but then all of a sudden, we heard the words, enemy V2 rocket inbound, and we knew we weren't going home. <laughs> I, ugh. Jesus Christ, man. Why is this even a fucking point we're talking about? How ridiculous is this shit? Like, why are we comparing Call of Duty to the actual World War II experience? Everybody in World War II had a fucking semi-automatic gun that if they got shot once, they were fucking dead. They were crawling through the mud. People were losing fucking limbs all around them. People were dying of disease. Oh my God. This... It's just so ignorant. Like, this is what I mean. It's Reddit energy. Like, it's literally armchair intellectuals chuckling and tipping their fedora, thinking they're making a good point when they're not. It's dumb. This is Reddit energy. But yeah, let's keep going. Says the one who couldn't read the sarcasm in that voice. Wow, dude, your grandpa didn't tell you about Call the Fucking Duty and the con... <laughs> grandpa, I think you're full of shit, dude. Why the fuck didn't you mention Victor Reznov planting the Soviet flag on top of the Nazi Capitol building, you fucking lying piece of shit? 
<laughs> that's an even better point because World at War is considered more historically accurate by these type of people. So yeah, <laughs> very good point, man. The numbers, Mason. What the fuck do they mean? Where's the Nova Six gas? <laughs> I don't fucking know, man. <laughs> like what the fuck? Oh my lord, dude. Yeah, and you guys not see how I'm like playing up the reaction a little bit because you know I'm streaming. Trust me, dude. We all saw the stream archive. You were big mad as hell. Jesus fucking Christ, yo, the cringe. I'll admit that's a little bit cringy. You know, whatever. Jazz, goddamn humor once again, Griffin, in the stupid little freaking voiceover or whatever that you're trying to do, man. Like, come on, bro. Just fucking stop it already. You're not even coming up with any good points. All right, bro. Why are you even watching the stream then? Because that's the type of shit I do all the fucking time. So if you don't like it, why are you even watching this shit? Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. It's obviously not for you, my dude. Couldn't you be using your time a little bit better than, you know, watching a stream that you obviously don't fucking like? But, hmm. Just my humble opinion. Ho <laughs> Reddit chuckles. R slash wings of redemption. God Howard with the two. Are you not entertained? Um... I am pretty entertained. But, yeah, hopefully everybody else is. You generation of the two, I don't know. Amy Schumer is objectively unfunny. I don't know, bro. When she makes that joke about her vagina, like, that shit really gets me fucking cracking up. And before everybody asks which one, all of them. Uh, Let's see. Deimos and FOMO, or Phobos. Shit, my bad. With the five. Hey, did you know he was talking about the campaign? Are you stupid? Um, no, we didn't watch the campaign portion of the video, so I can assure you that he's not talking about the campaign. Unless you're talking about the dude talking about, like, a accurate portrayal of World War II as being the campaign, but again, we didn't watch the campaign portion of the Actman's video, so the campaign never came up. Points, man. That's what you do, yo. You don't never come up with no good points to refute Act Man's arguments or nothing like that, yo. It's not. That's not. Yeah, and that's literally why in the stream I said, yeah, maybe I'll make a video like refuting his points better. Like, bro, in that stream, I literally acknowledged that, hey, maybe I should make like a actual response to this, because a stream is not what I consider an actual response. It's a live reaction. It's not like an actual refutement of points or anything like that, because one. I'm not prepared. Two, I'm not going to take the time to go and research and just have a bunch of dead air in the stream where everybody gets bored. And three, I had no preparation going into it whatsoever. I didn't even know what the fuck I'm going to say. I don't have a chance to edit stuff out, retake things, reword things, whatever. I don't have a way, means to like present evidence or anything. So, yeah, that's literally why in that stream I said, yeah, maybe I'll make an actual video on this and do a response. Because I didn't consider that a response, bro. That's considered a reaction. Hold it! And yet up till now, I have not seen a single video from you about this. I mean, let's be honest about this, okay? You will never make this video because in order to do so, you have to admit to all your fucking L's you had in that stream. And as we all can see by now, your ego is on the same level as Quantum TV, in which the two of you will never admit to your L's on video game takes. Just like this is considered a reaction, even though I'm doing a pretty decent job of responding, I feel like at this point. Real with the five people are weird who stops and thinks about the gun attachments. If it bothers you so much, then don't put unhistorical we don't put unhistorical attachments on weapons. Exactly, you know? That's the beauty of weapon customization. You can make it your own to any way you want. It's not even the damn point that Ackman is trying to come up with, dude. There was no freaking red dot sites in World War One or World War Two, bro. Like, Jesus Christ, man. You talking about some, ooh, ooh, you talking about the, the red dot site that's been in every Call of Duty game ever. Like, no the fuck it hasn't, bro. It has not. No, I said it was in most Call of Duty games. Or almost every Call of Duty. I never said it was in all of them. Obviously, it hasn't been in all of them. But, you know, I would know that because I've actually played all the Call of Duty games except COD World War II. I've been in freaking Call of Duty Finest. I just find the whole notion that I'm a Vanguard simp completely fucking laughable Are you serious because up until like two weeks before the game came out 
I don't even know if it was that early before the game, like a couple days maybe before the game came out. Like I was literally still shitting on that. I don't know, man. I don't fucking know. But eh, it is what it is. Sour has been in, especially not Call of Duty fucking World at War, which hint hint is also a take on the World War setting as well. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, wasn't freaking World at War a take on a World War II setting? It didn't even have no red dot sights in it. Oh, yeah, and it also came out in two thousand fucking eight. You know, Call of Duty has come a long way. Like, we had... So, in between... Okay, so at the time World at War came out, we had COD 1, 2, 3, Call of Duty 4, and World at War. Four of the five games were in a World War II setting. COD 4 was the only one in a modern setting. So, it was the first Call of Duty game to introduce people to things like Red Dot Sites. Which made them realize, oh, hey, I actually like this being in my COD game. I enjoy having a different variety of sites to use. You know, this is actually a positive thing. So then we go all the way up until COD World War II. And every single one of those games in between has a red dot site. Do you not think, did they add red dot sites in COD World War II? I don't know. I didn't fucking play it. Did COD World War II have red dot sights? No. Okay, so they did not. So this helps me prove my point. So maybe... All right, just, just hear me out here for a second, because this is kind of a crazy concept, all right? Maybe when they released Call of Duty World War II and they made the attachments more accurate to the time period, maybe that was one of the complaints... That, you know, maybe we actually like having the modern attachments. We enjoy having the red dot sights. We don't want to go back to Call of Duty games where we can only use a sniper scope or iron sights. We like having the option to put whatever sight on our gun we want to. Because it's multiplayer. If any part of a multiplayer game or any part of a video game does not have to be accurate, historically accurate, realistic, or whatever. It's going to be the multiplayer. The entire concept of multiplayer is completely fucking unrealistic. So that's the thing right then and there. So maybe they took feedback from people who wanted more attachment variety in Call of Duty Vanguard versus World War II, and they added it. I'm just throwing that out there because, again, it's optional. If you don't want a fucking red dot sight, don't equip it. No harm, no foul. Who gives a fuck at the end of the day? It's your option to equip your gun with whatever attachments you feel fit. I don't know. Oh, look. Griffin makes an actual point. It wasn't right or wrong in any way, but I can see the common sense in that at least. I don't know. Maybe because the game was trying to balance a little bit of realism with the fucking setting. Because if you're going to put yourself in the setting of something, how about you actually freaking make people feel immersive and do things that are accurate to that setting? But Vanguard doesn't give a fuck about that. It doesn't at all. Well, in the multiplayer, doesn't... Again, I have no idea about the campaign. Didn't fucking play it, which I said in the video. Keith of the Five, when I'm playing my sports games, I can't go home and be my wife after... <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Shit. Based but true. That's the point that he's coming up with, Griffin, man. Is that it's basing itself in a World War II setting, and yet... So this is why I say in my video, the campaign is the only thing in COD that should be considered immersive. The multiplayer and side mode are purely there for fun. Yeah, exactly. That was like the whole thing with the one boom when he was saying like the fucking cat ears ruin Halo Infinite's aesthetic. It's like, what the fuck, bro? The campaign is there to preserve the aesthetic. The multiplayer is where you dick around and have fun. Like, that's the part that doesn't matter. If you want realism, go play the campaign because it's like a curated piece of content or whatever. Yeah, it doesn't even have things that are from World War II in it. It has... Jesus Christ, my fucking head hurts explaining. Does... Alright, so let's see. Let me just confirm this, guys. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some research here. So excuse the dead air. When does COD Vanguard take place? 
So, it says it's unknown exactly when Call of Duty Vanguard takes place. So there's no like set date. Mm, 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 let me see. So it says it takes place at the end of World War II, and you play as a rogue SS officer. Okay. So yeah, there you go. At the end of World War II. So I'm guessing it's not like during the actual war. It's probably like when all the fucking Nazis and shit are fleeing the country. I have no idea. Like, it's a COD campaign. I didn't play it. I don't really care about it. You know. Nobody was bitching when Black Ops 1 wasn't historically accurate. You know, weren't there guns in Black Ops 1 that weren't even like created at the time yet? I don't know, but it is what it is. Nobody bitched when you could get the fucking ray gun in the World at War campaign. <laughs> but yeah, I don't fucking know, bro. It is what it is. It's Call of Duty at the end of the day. If you're looking for realism in a COD game, you're already doing something wrong. Simple as that. But yeah. So in COD's own website, it's basically advertised as a fictional stance in World War II. Thank, that's what I was trying to... I, I don't know where this motherfucker was pulling this shit that they were saying it's a realistic depiction of World War II. Thank you. I'm glad I'm not the only one who saw that it's a fictional World War II kind of alternate timeline kind of thing or whatever. Yeah, no. Thank you. I appreciate somebody backing me up on that one because... This dude obviously is just pulling shit straight out of his ass because he's got no receipts for any of it. Any actual facts to this guy? Let's just move on. <laughs> Bro! Oh my god. Oh. 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 Jesus Christ, bro. This is sad. It's fucking COD, dude. It's literally Call of Duty. Having red dot sights. Ah, uh, ex excuse me? And pause again there because we have one of the- Grandpa, what the fuck do you mean that you didn't have 25 magazines of fully loaded ammunition on you? And when you walked over a dead body, 16 more appeared in your fucking backpack. You're full of shit. Oh my god. Yeah, what about the fucking, um, flamethrower suit you pull out of your fucking back pocket? You know, that's another one, or the death machine. You know, was that a staple of <laughs> the World War II battlefield? <laughs> Walking around with ra around with a fucking minigun? But yeah. Dude, it's fucking COD. These heinous optical sights. <laughs> I'm not sure what it looks like. It's tiny. I mean, we can barely make optical sights as with a field of... Bro, lost all respect for you. That's okay, man. I don't really care. ...view like this now, so we certainly didn't have them in the 1940s. Okay, so now that I've established... If you lose respect for me over Call of Duty, then, yeah, I don't need your respect. Established vanguards. Again, that's a pretty base take. Like, I'm dead ass, bro. Like, if I ever lose respect for someone over a video game opinion, then, yeah, I'm the one taking the L in that situation. Or maybe he was talking about your behavior and not your opinion. Ever thought of that? <laughs> I don't fucking know, man. Like, whatever. At any point that I go like, oh my god, the act, man. I can never take anything he says seriously again. I'm like, no, I don't fucking care. It's a video game. To be continued in part two. 
leave a like, comment, share, subscribe if you like this part, and I'll see you in part 2. Peace.